Hello, hello, and welcome, everybody, my friends, and as well, the judges who judge this challenge. Okay, so, oh, well, welcome back to KSP, but I think that's pretty obvious. So, for today, I completed the challenge which, I, which I've tried already during my live stream and did manage to, to do it quite the way I wanted to. But for those who don't know, and quick recap, um, the challenge is building an SSTO without wings and without using air breathing engines at all. And so here we are. My here we have my uh, rocket design, and here right off the start, two pretty interesting failures because of the landing struts who were wobbling up and down where the launch pad and the rocket exploded which is kind of weird I think and in the end well it didn't really matter too much since we could launch if we were just to far if we just fire up our engines a little bit more faster than waiting and having a nice time waiting on the launch pad then during ascend we had a nice flip there um, the rocket was surprisingly not as stable as it was supposed to be, but in the end this flip didn't really affect our performance at all. We were able to get into suborbital trajectory and now circularization burn here, having a nice circular orbit there as you can see here, completing that challenge 80, to 80 and 90 ki um, kilometers of air apses. Now because of this, um, forgot to disable the cross feed on the fuel transfer on, and the docking port, we had to transfer the fuel manually into the upper stage and then we can select Minmus as our target, plotting a maneuver there and detaching yeah, and detaching and going on with the second part of the mission. Uh, speaking of the second part of the mission, I'm actually not quite sure whether it was is allowed to use a two-stage, well two-stage in terms of a separate craft which will redock with the main craft and so it's technically one stage because everything will get back and everything was in one stage though the part to Mimis I'm not quite sure about that tell me um, whether this still qualifies as the hard mode challenge yeah the completion of the hard mode challenge that is if not well at least the normal challenge but well whatever at least something don't you guys agree so now on Minmus here we are, uh, nice and safe, I guess, is the right terminology. Planting a flag, as always, which is obviously um, a must-do. Then going, of course, back where we already were, and changing our um, trajectory so that we have a more or less equatorial intersection so that we can um, tr um, rendezvous with our main craft and dock. I'm using here the atmosphere a little bit in order to slow down and save some fuel um, because we do we I think we had technically enough fuel to do a rendezvous without the atmosphere but it was just a little bit on the short kind of on the better safe than sorry and passing it a couple of times through the atmosphere is of course not that interesting to sit there and wait until we pass through the atmosphere even though we have four times regular speed with the physical time warp but now in the after video production it's just I think now 16 times like four times four yeah like four squared anyway anyways that's not really important don't you guys agree on that note and yeah I think that's more or less it I have to say there Closing in on the, uh, well, not closing in, there's a nice shadow, by the way. Uh, moon, lunar, ecl lunar eclipse, not lunar eclipse. Uh, soon we'll have a rendezvous on the opposite side of Kuban from where we are at the moment. And then we will start our docking procedure. And now just flying and waiting in this mode until we are close enough to start one burn which will actually not be the one the burn which we will use to get our encounter for I think no this will be the final one uh, yeah the other burn we were pretty close I've already passed up on I think actually I wasn't paying too much attention to the footage on screen I apologize for that yeah but, but anyways anyways you guys do know how the things work out and the uh, yeah no Back to the rendezvousing part, actually. Um, I skip forward here, as you see. Quite a lot, actually, 20 minutes of time uh, in time. I abandoned the docking procedure because it wasn't actually 
we weren't able to dock because of those landing likes or because of the nuclear ranges. I'm not quite sure why. Somehow I was able to fit it in the VAB, but not later in space where we couldn't perform our docking. So I had to improvise and decided to throw both of our stages separately into the atmosphere and trying to land them. Because t I think this would still count as ASSTO. I'm actually not quite sure about that, but in the end, the, the most important part of the mission is that it is, it is successful. And um, I heard, yeah, so decided to throw them in and there will be a few kind of a lot of improvising there because as you can see here this craft has a lot of parachute like really a ridiculous amount of parachute because it was supposed to slow down the main craft like the bigger part as well and stabilize it so that we can perform an engine burn kind of the suicide burn with the engines and then land with said engines but as you guys know um Yes, we couldn't take both crafts down in one go, so we had to use only the engines and the aero brakes. And here we go, and boom, yes. The first attempt did not work quite so nice there, too much jumping around. But on this, uh, but we, luckily I had a quick save and we could reload and there we have a beautiful landing. And on this note, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and as I said, because of the challenge, I hope I passed it. Anyways, have a nice day. Spaceship signing out.